You're tuned in to DJ Mark in the Mix, where we bring you the best and latest in gospel music. Don't scroll, keep it on cruise control. Are you ready to get your praise on? Come on, let's go. Monica, I just sent you the email with the client now. I think it's an older... I still believe in the God is real. I won't be faced by the enemy. I will not waver. I will not stop in my quest to, to serve my King. You don't know what DJ Mark show you instead of to try when all else fails is again. The person who really wants to do something finds a way. The person who does not finds an excuse. The person who prevails is the person who refuses to give up. The person with the mental toughness is the person who will triumph. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. The man who can get up one more time than the time he's knocked down is going to be the winner. Being knocked down is not a problem, but staying down is a problem. Get up because success begins by getting up one more time than you've been knocked down. The Bible declares in Proverbs 24, 16, listen to this. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. Again, you're not a failure for falling down. You're a failure for staying down. You know, it's amazing how many people in the world have done phenomenal things after having failed numerous times in their life. And so failure doesn't have to be the end. Making mistakes doesn't have to be the end. I think most people, if they're going to be successful, they have to press through some things. And... Um, one of the things that we tend to do, or that one of the lies that the enemy tells us is, well, there's just no way. There's just, there's no way. There's no way out. But we have to remember that there's always a way out. And those of us who are believers in Jesus Christ know that he said in John 14, 6, I am the way. We may not know the way, and he may not be telling us the way, but he wants us to believe that he is the way maker. God will make a way for you, but he does require you to never give up. You may be tired today. You've been dealing with a challenge in your health, a relationship, in your finances for years. You used to believe that you would overcome, but now you're worn down. You don't think it's ever going to happen. Let me encourage you. What God promised, he's still going to bring to pass. You may have given up, but God has not given up. He has your healing, your breakthrough, your promotion, the right people. Now do your part. Get your passion back. Start taking hold of his strength. Don't allow that weariness in. The enemy wouldn't be fighting you so hard unless he knew you were close to your victory. He couldn't take you out, so he's trying to wear you out. Get you weary, discouraged. Don't fall into that trap all through the day. Lord, thank you that you're renewing my strength. Thank you that I will soar like the eagles. Thank you that I am strong in the Lord. That battle may be taking a long time, but I believe right now, strength is coming into you. Hope is coming into you. God is filling you with fresh courage, determination, vision. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. Don't give up on yourself because if you do, then what you're saying is God's not big enough to change me. There's nobody that is beyond change. God can change every single one of us. I don't want you to give up. 
I don't want you just to throw in the towel and quit. If all you can do right now is just get out of that bed and walk across the room, do something. And if you'll do what you can do, God will do what you cannot do. The difference between possibility and the impossible lies in your own personal persistence. Persistence is the path to victory for every champion. Run to win. Be a champion for Jesus Christ. Fight the good fight. Endure hardness as a soldier of Jesus Christ. Press on in the heat of spiritual warfare. Press on in the darkest night of your sorrow. When you've lost the dearest on earth, press on when all seems lost and hopeless. Press on when your dreams have been shattered and seem hopelessly outdated. Press on when your friends forsake you. When your best friend walks out, Jesus Christ, your best friend walks in. Press on because the God of heaven will never leave you nor forsake you even to the ends of the earth. Press on, press on, press on, press on, press on, press on. The victory is yours if you will not quit. Flesh. Peeps, you know at three o'clock we have Ryan Davis. So let's go and play some tune now, don't it? This man is Tuna Tucker, you know? You know this one, don't it? He's my forever friend. Yeah, there yeah, is none yeah, like yeah. you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find.
trust that you're having a wonderful Sunday so far. Earlier you heard that quote, inspirational quote, saying don't give up. Come on, keep going, keep going. So that's our beloved vibes. Oh, yeah. Alright, what are the questions for Ax, Ryan Davis? You know how many persons me not even know him, but you're gonna get to know him, alright? Look like the way you want me to. Now I may not do it just like you do, but I wanna stay true to the kingdom. Be relevant and be a true Christian. I wanna feed the poor, the widows and the orphans. Be a light in the middle of the darkness. So they see my good works and glorify God in heaven. Hey, I have no time to sit and talk about no one sin. Unless it's with the one I'm going to be helping. If you can't speak positive, then close your mouth. Who is you to be judging? Oh, look into your life and tell me what you see. Every day you wake, you should be busy working out your salvation. Building a firm foundation. Yeah. This one is hot like yours. Ah, Jeremy and Edwards. Who's breast wider than the widest ocean? I know that's how we do it for RVR 24-7, you know? Hold on. Here I am. And I'm asking you again. I'm asking you again. RVR 24-7. Want to check out all acquired. Give me, give me more of you. All acquired, your convenience store. Everything is yours. Convenient, safe, and secure. It is easy to say what you are, but who you are is not a description of who you say. Smile and act like everything is alright, but deep down in your heart is not okay. Last week you would have seen my stuff, them from all acquired. No joke thing, you know. I love you, Nick. What one? Anti fair. It's love for many other human. It's not easy to love the way you do, but I'm willing to take up my class and follow you. Persecuted for no reason. Mr. Judge, you're what one? For the same old people. Never wanted to obey, but yet you still get grace. Bread for another day. That demonstrates his own love to us. Love. In that way. Somebody, this one is Judy Gear. All right, listen to the song. Listen to the song. RVR 24 7. RVR 24 7. Tell us something about this reggae music thing, you know. Reggae gospel, sweetest. Chris or Crystal, Williams, how you doing? Auntie Jeannie. Mr. Panton, how you doing, sis? Still praying for you, you know.
walking out with blessings, don't it? Some people feel like because I'm a Christian, you know. Them can't live lavish. Last week you hear from the man, Sherwin Music. His new song, Lavish. Check it out, check it out. Something. Yeah. Whoa. What are we worry about now? Me I tell you if I do sick like easy. Is my May God deal with it here. Oh. Come on. Send me head up on my body, sick or no. Funny Alexia. Oh, no, 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 no. I have a vibe. This place. Oh, we got this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't run no way. No, we don't run no way. Hey, peeps, remember the golden rule. Once you log on, you know, make sure you say a like, share. Hey, Robert, I don't know you have a work it on. I need to still in a bro. Jamaica, play five o'clock. I'm hey, 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 glad to at, uh, uh, at 2 o'clock. That's where you start, can't remember. For the 5 o'clock, brother. I don't know it where I'm going now. This one is I pray. One is Vision 2020. Read him, you know. Oh, they had the trouble of the
Så är det som det är nej till ett fel Right now. As I say now, three o'clock we have the man in the house, Ryan Davis. Whatever you want to this one. No, just me excited, really excited. Now we are rocking. Now we are Now we are Now we are Now we are Now Alright, alright, no problem, my general. Me saw go on. You know, can't yeah, play one time. We don't wanna see the farm, we don't wanna know man of the clay. Right, just living we are carrying for me seed. No wanna see the farm in now. Wanna be a holy boy. Hey, we don't wanna see the farm in now. No man of the clay. Now, right, just living we are carrying on the seed. Now, we don't wanna see the farm in now. Wanna be a holy boy. You know, say, you know, say this show is sponsored by all acquire, don't it? And every single week we have some cool banana lim thing that we give away, you know. Today is no different. Listen to the show. Go on, get wet to those overseas, you know. This we are going still. Just so right after we do the interview with Ryan, an interview fresh and on the head, we're gonna ask a question from the interview. All right. Let me tell you 
Tell her, you see Ryan Davis. Trust me, man, you see? Yeah. Some artists, you know, them good in the studio, but not on the... Not pan actually a show. See them money. Just as affected for a live show. Cheer over here, so hey, once they want to sit on Pony Redeem, you know, and Steve is a situation and in the Babali, and then in the Melta cheese. Now in Star Sandry, beeps, beeps, and I see Wagwana Jamaica. Many really like Wagwan, still enough. Listen to this song. Listen to this song, peeps. <laughs> From the man himself, Ryan Davis. I scare me still, cause guys, they near me still. You understand? Yes, I'm on the captain of the ship and I'm a stick. Yo, yo, yo. This is the biggest yo, DJ around. Yo, yo, yo. DJ Mark. <laughs> See, look around and you see what if I think that I'm still. <laughs> but whatever happened, I scare me still, cause guys, they near me still. You understand? This is Ryan. Speaking up, DJ Mark. What them? What them, Ryan? Say so you are step out of your yard any day, you make sure so you stop. I remember the big God, for protect you from the things out the street, dirt around red, much redder than a red bag. From your see how the youths them are going, then you know, you know, if you ask if them mad, them are kill big people, good children, senior citizens, all are dead for them, tread bag. The other day, them final every year, world war in a bag. With him body dismember. Lips in the yard, go on. Find another level here, world girl around. Oh, shit. Alisa, how you doing? Remember, them and kill everything in a them part. That's why me a fiasco. If I saw them bad. Good afternoon, Harold, Alisa. People are getting no less dead and them and kill lady the way pregnant. If it did up to me, or to you, or to them. Hey, well, if my people load and dead bad. But I just went this for God, so we have a breed easy. I say afternoon to Patricia Williams, how you doing, sis? Show no mercy, no mercy, no show to you. So nobody ball out, thank God. Release him, I can eat people by your family. Make your head sweat like a red frog. But all I want is a DJ now, sweet. Cause I'm not a new captain of the ship. Hold on tight when it drop, when it dip. Cause I'm not a new captain of the ship. Hey, who is your captain? Is a captain of your ship. Come on, 
now when I sit you now sleep. Captain that you know This right, Brian Davis. Make a praise the king, though. You know them call him. Nickname is Mr. Testify, don't it? You want know why? We are representing the DJ Mark in the mixing up. This is the reason why them call him Mr. Testify because of this song, you know. Hey. Hey. I'm tell you, DJ Mark, no, normal today. With Ryan Davis in tandem. I tell you, them money have hits after hits, you know, not normal. Trust me, one of the humblest artists them know. Still, I testify, no, I know the God will serve. I'm not 
Just me, man. So, guys, you know, we have relationship focus too, don't it? So, what we're going to be doing right now? It's relationship focus with Andrew Blake right here on DJ Mark. Every first and third Sunday evenings, join me as we look at topics that no one else will touch. So, peeps, we're going right over to relationship focus right now, all right? With the Reverend Andrew Blake. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, relationship focus family. Welcome back to another a segment of relationship focus with me. I am Andrew. And uh, this afternoon, we continue to look into uh, areas that many persons don't think about or many persons shy away from or uh, many persons have thought about it, but you're not sure how to approach the discussion or the conversation with your spouse. And you, you may be just be living in a very tense uh, internal feeling or a tense environment. And on Relationship Focus, we try to look at topics that will ignite conversation. And we hope that these conversations and these nuggets of uh, suggestions and information that we give here on Relationship Focus will help to bring you closer to your partner or to your spouse, uh, that person you have taken onto yourself as your husband or your wife or that person you intend to marry. In, in the near, if not distant, future. Uh, this afternoon on Relationship Focus, we want to look at the, the area of understanding my spouse. Now, this is a question that I have heard in my sessions with couples, in my sessions with individuals. I've heard uh, this, this statement uh, being said, I, I, I don't understand him, I don't understand her. I, I have heard person end conversation with me saying, I am beginning to wonder if I made the correct decision in getting married to this person. That is a reoccurring statement that I have heard in my practice over the years many, many, many times. And I, and I tend to, to begin my response to the person or the persons this way. I start to say to them, let's get back to the beginning when you met your spouse uh, or, or your, your, your fiance or your, 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 your partner. When you met this person, what was the quality in this person that drew you to this person? Let's see if we can go back there and uh, look at it. Because at one point in time, what now irritates you is something that you may have liked or loved in your spouse at that particular time. Let's say, for example, your spouse is an outgoing person. Your spouse likes to go to the movies, the beach, the park, a nice restaurant. And now that you're married, why has that become a point of annoyance or a point of contention? Because that's what pulled you to your spouse in the first place. And if it was a annoying aspect of your spouse before you got married, then why did you get married understanding that this area would have caused you some discomfort? Uh, didn't at one point in time you liked the fact that your spouse was an extrovert or your spouse was an introvert? Then why all of a sudden it has become a challenge? Or did you say to yourself that, okay, I'll overlook this area because the other qualities that I see in my spouse are, are more important than this one that causes me discomfort and you didn't bother to discuss it uh, and this is something that happens a lot before persons get married and that's why I advocate for premarital counseling you have to discuss these areas uh, before you say I do but 
there is time to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with your spouse. Yes, there is time to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with your spouse. I would suggest, and I, and I suggest to the couples I talk to, that it is best to have these discussions when you are not stressed by the issues of life, by work, by bills, but you are more relaxed, both of you are more relaxed, uh, you are not really disturbed by the children or your, your cell phone keeps ringing or, or work issues keep coming up, but you're both relaxed, you probably want to go somewhere that takes you out of the house, probably to the, to the beach for a walk or to the park or, or somewhere where you can sit and you can have a heart to heart talk with your spouse concerning how you are feeling. Remember now, I, I, this conversation is not about right or wrong. It has to do with the fact that you want to express yourself and you want to gain that deeper and closer connection by understanding your spouse and their mindset and what they might be, might be thinking. In, in this discussion, you're deciding to help each other to, to not only get what you want, but also get what you need in your relationship. You want to ensure that your intentions, your motives are not selfish or self-centered, but they are about serving each other as a couple. You want to also spend some time preparing for this meeting, preparing for this conversation with your spouse by thinking through what you want to say to your spouse or what you want to share with your spouse. You don't just want to go there and just be rambling on because you may end up saying things that you really don't mean or things that you didn't even want to share because it doesn't really bother you but it comes up in the conversation because you are not prepared. Plan to tell your spouse what you admire about him or her. What I find in my practice is that it is very easy for us to point out the faults in our spouses but it's very hard for us to tell our spouse what we love or what we admire about them you're going to plan to tell your spouse what you admire about him or her and use this as a platform to to gain that confidence and to understand what your spouse needs plan also to apologize to your spouse in whatever way you may have neglected each other and use that time now to help each other to rediscover that intimacy that you had in your relationship. Use that time to rediscover that love, that connection. It, it, it may not happen in a one conversation. It may not happen in a one meeting. You may have to repeat these meetings. And if you realize that uh, these conversations are bringing up more issues than they're coming with solutions, then I suggest and I recommend that you seek the intervention of a trained counselor as you both explore this area together. My friends, time is on us and uh, until next time on Relationship Focus when we will go a little further in this topic in understanding my spouse. I am Andrew. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Say see it and I'm not bad for me. No. Could I never make him back for me. <laughs> God have mercy. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Say see it and I'm not bad for me. No. Could I never make him back for me. <laughs> There you have it, you know. The Reverend Andrew Blake with the relationship focus. So, peeps. You know what say? Interview time now, don't it? So just, so just before we're going to interview, you know, we have to play that song. Yeah. You know about you, you know about him, I'm over me. Hey, trust me. 
Buddha song, yeah. Ryan, you're going to talk about that song. Yeah. Here to me seem you scartel. Make him feel like him at the hand for your ass cartel. Now them lock him up in a cell. And you want that for me, G. You're not going to work. Then we wrap to me, leave me my heart swell. About demon, demon, I put the triple six in my head. Panda part, them I can't dwell. My soul much, much too precious for guy. You're not going to get a boy, you're not going to get a boy. See down and go read a man over me. See your head top, my shop, my man over me. Alright, so peeps, you are going to keep thing, alright? Before me, mad man, pan street, and I say, I saw me shoot at an. Burden down and dirty like some big chunk full of sun. God said, no, this are you, tell me sugar pan. Let's me, make me sweet like me, little in a full of an. Don't follow me, go, hey, let me say, you galang. Sherry and music, the Coans family, walk one. I cost my phone, me shot like. Alright, I'll listen. I know my most sweet. Alright, how you doing? I'm strong. Well, me say, move from your big, how you full of rum. Rex, you big, true, we not do no buga song. But if you're looking for me, fall in your wood. Ryan, I'm going to do a, a test run. Ryan, I'm going to do a sound check. I said something, there's a something I'm going to do on my side. Oh, I'm going DJ, man. Yeah, 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 you're on your end, right? Yeah, man, you're loud and clear, man. What a go All right, my boss. We're going to kick it off, you know. We're going to kick it off. I'm going to run that song out one more time, though, my boss. Ah, okay. Say, see, I don't know how to do it. No, I don't know how to do it. No, no, no. God have mercy. So, we say, get me in the man, my father, I'm on it. Put you on shop as some of the best in the country. No, I'm not your Davis, but see my comfy. But I want to me tell him, say, who oh, me? You're not getting a boy, you're not going to do it for me. See, don't go for me, you're not going to do it for me. See, your head top, my shop, I'm not going to do it for me. You're not getting me so now. The man himself in the house, you know. Ryan. <laughs> well, Testify Davis. What's going on, bro? Today, I'm on in Jesus' name. I, I give God thanks, you know. I'm going to show. Definitely. God be the glory, man. Definitely. Definitely. So, how oh, oh, you been? How oh, you been? How oh, the lockdown are treated? You know, see the, the, the government locked down the thing and, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we just, we just have to do because we say it's our word because it's like, you know, it's not so pretty down here, you know, so we just have to just work yeah. with what going on. Yeah. Try to do the best of it, you know, those of us who, who, who do music and stuff, just use the time and, you know, create. Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely, bro. Definitely. So, so Ryan, before me even get in on none of the questions, I know this never the on the script still, but <laughs> tell, tell me, brother. Where, where you find that song you're from? The mad over me. The rhythm. Tell me, tell me how that, that whole production thing I go. Because me, I tell you, that song is not normal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. To God be the glory. Um, You know, it's like the Lord himself always just put some things in my spirit. And um, that's how um, that just come out. I was just there, you know, and the thought just come to me because, you know, Satan is very tricky and he try to, you know, work on, on your faults and try to make it, it look like, yeah, no, no, go on. So, so this is the time where you can turn. And I think I was going through one of them moments and the thought that come to me was like, eh, eh, no matter with that, because if I'm here, I wait for me, I got money over me. And it just um, turned into a song, you know what I mean? The production... You know, it's the same production team, my yeah. brother, um, Alex, you know, my brother Clement. Clement. And the kids, yeah, man, Alex and myself, you know, we're just sitting at the studio. Um, I'm kind of show them what I want, because some of the songs them in my head is like, you don't know you want to. For, for the, you for know, the, yeah, the rhythm. Right, so, and, yeah. and them, them, them do exactly, them do it justice, man. 
my brother find that, that baseline there. Alex find some things in the middle of the drum and it just, it just different. Said the rest is history. The <laughs> rest is history. <laughs> Yeah man, I love that song, bro. I, I know people, I know people like on this show, bro. Like if I'm supposed to play that song and play it like once, trust me, man. I won't I won't I won't leave feeling comfortable, man, because they're gonna tell me, hey, you need to play that song more once. You understand? So it's a very nice song, man. Trust me. Love it. To God be the glory, man. And 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 the testimony. Um and that is what I like in music too. Um, you know, when people can testify. You know, and I mean, testimony right across the world about even this one song, you know. People use it as a warfare, you know. So, True. we just give God the glory, yeah, man. Blessed, blessed, man. So, so tell me, Ryan, I know all of us who weren't Christians whenever, I mean, I, I, as a pastor child still, you know what I mean? I mean, oh, I do. Oh, yeah, a pastor child, you know, I never know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, I guess, we, I guess we learn every day, you know what I mean, as, as we go along, um, you know, different things about um, ourselves and other people, you know. But, um, but definitely, man, the, as a pastor child, you know, it has been, you know, ups and downs. But even though I'm a pastor child, I mean, I never got saved um, right out of, 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 you know, of conception. Mm -hmm. I mean, after birth. You know, it, it, it is a process because we all have a, have a choice to make, you know, to serve the Lord. So, tell me about Ryan Davis before you came to the Lord. All right, Ryan Davis before I came to the Lord. Well, like you, um, I'm not a pastor child, but, but my parents are, are Christians. You know, so I was brought up into a Christian home. So I know I'm one of them gangster story there. Are, <laughs> are, you know, one of them um salt to part thing or whatever. But um I was just a country youth, like just I got to earth, I never really know my purpose. Um yeah. was just, you know, going around trying to find myself and all of that. So um basically that was me, you know, from country doing with thing. And you know, um as young people, you have a entangling or something like entanglement. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so basically, that was it for me, really. Just trying to find my, my, my whole foot in her, what, what was I created to do. Mm -hmm. So, right. So, you say, you say you come from the country. Which country that? Which um, parish? Well, I come from St. Catherine. Up in okay. our hills called Mountain Industry, you know. We up on the mountain top. <laughs> Some people... You, you, listen, you know the name, it's a mountain industry. So you know, up on the mountain top. We <laughs> 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 said industrious. <laughs> Mount mm. industry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, so it, I mean, I mean, I've mean, i seen the name on buses still. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen yeah, the man, name. Yeah, them, 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 I don't want to tell you, say, a lot of the buses, they were missing Mount Industry, but them doing them do Mount Industry. <laughs> they just purchase the road and let the people <laughs> yeah 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 so well on it is it as place close to Glengoff around that side eh? mm. yeah definitely it's close to Glengoff so okay. it's it's in the Glengoff area but further up in the mountains yeah man blessed love hey Madea Madea look in the comment section and um Dexter, you know what Dexter Johnson must say, Ryan, my boss, Mr. Howard Spencer said, This is my yeah. artist forever. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> big up Dexter, big up Howard every time. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah nice. The glory, man. Nice, nice. Anna K, leave it. Big up yourself. So, Ryan, apart from the music, what, what are you, how you, would you describe yourself then as a, you know, just a regular person outside of music? Are you a serious uh, person? Are you a, a jovial person, a calm person. You know, say, I'm a kind of person. You, you, you have a adapter. What we call it. You call it adapter. Yeah. <laughs> but it have a whole heap of it on it. And it, it universal. Universal adapter. Universal yeah. remote. I'm like, I'm like that. You know, I can adjust to my surrounding. You yeah. know, so sometimes my, 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 my quiet. A lot of people who even go to school with me sometimes, them see me for a stage and them I said to me, I can't run. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because 
depend on where I am. I just I just if 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 my feet say a time to be quiet then I do not talk in if if I am comfortable enough and a time for make trouble and be the you know yeah the one the life of the party then I adjust and do that as well. Okay. You know? Okay. But 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 um outside I'm, and it's like you know so most things in my life is like music night. So I don't even have no outside of music. <laughs> that the music is that, so. for the music. It's like everything I do, because if, if I chill with my family music, then if I meditate, music is a part of that. If I worship with God, music is a part of that. So if 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 it's a business thing, it's like music upon it too. So it's just it's just all over music. I see it man. Hey, I want to tell you say you're a producer. Your producer, I want to producer them right now. They in the comment section, you know. Me I talk about DJ Shane, you know. <laughs> oh, DJ Shane, big up yourself every time. Bad producer too. <laughs> hey, trust me, man. Trust me. I me tell you, I'm coming say right now, right here. I'm my artist too, forever. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the most humble youth I've ever met, and that is the same sentiment me share. Me just tell the people, you know. Those are tell people. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, you know, DJ Mark, it's like, I don't make no sense. I'm a kind of figure that out from me younger. Yeah. Because it no matter how oh, at you is, I uh, want uh, things that are smart, it's still there at the time. Yeah. <laughs> it don't even make no sense. So we just have to just give thanks for everything. As yeah. the scripture tells you, in, in all things, give thanks. And and that's that's just how you have to go through life. You Definitely. know, it worked for me. I mean, you know, it can work for you as well. Mm-hmm. Bless God, bless God, bro. So, so tell me, Ryan, how oh, you get into music? I know you, you say music in change, you know, you're from them time there. But, you yeah. know, a part they have to create for you, for, you know what I mean? Forget the songs them out there, forget the production and all of them. So, so oh, you're getting at the whole musical um, thing now. All right, you want the long story or the short story? If you can, if you can put it in a little synopsis, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, in, in between. All right, so, so basically... Everything starts from church. Because um, I want to tell you that I don't even, I didn't even know that I could sing until in you know, the, the, the mega part of high school. Where, you know, <laughs> one day we were at in class and um, I was there, you know, I could sing in my head and we didn't want to sing in my head. It just come out. Because I hold my own, it, it, in my head, I have to sing a song. You know, right, it just right. come out. I did make me get some reaction that very day they're like, whoa, I mean I say, yeah, I never even know. So um when I got saved now, um God worked out everything. So it's like a, a bunch of us got saved together. Yeah. You know. Couple youths and um, well. And we we would go to youth ministry and all that stuff, but we start at home. Um even outside a, a church. That that become a little crew like so right. you know we just got saved so we just said all right we are stick together and then I realized that almost all of the guys have an interest in music so we start doing things from there that's where you know we start write songs from and stuff and when our pastor you know man for big up my pastor at the time he, yeah to our interest in our young people and mm-hmm. you know he 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 would have put with name on some ticket and some stuff, you know, him hype up the thing. So so that gave me the opportunity to not only sing in church but outside of church, some of the community events and stuff. And and that was the foundation. Right. But you know, through going on the country, we're growing on the country and stuff, everybody try better themselves at at that uh you reach a young adult stage. Right. 18, 19, you know, high school days done your affair. Branch out the way I do so. I went to college. All uh, where I'm friend of them go all about you know try to you know mix up my themselves. So at college now, um, I met a guy who was doing producing, like. But even way before that, um, as you know, my brother Clement in the music thing. So I always they run with him because he used to play the Grace Chillers, them and Edwin mm-hmm. Myers, them and them. Right, right. Yes, yeah, so me always hang around and, and and my first interest as me tell you me never um me never know me can sing till late. I don't know that. But I, I love the drum. 
Because I didn't have an ability to take a rhythm off a radio and put it on a desktop and it sound almost just like it. Yeah. So even when I got, when I got high school, I might roll that. So I yeah. thought I would be a bad drummer, but God have different plans for me. So when I reached college now and link up with the youth who was doing producing at the time, you know, mm-hmm. and him sent me some beats. I would just write some songs on the beats and I have like an album. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's like all from my have it all around campus. Everybody from money college pick up for themselves. It's like, yeah. everybody love it. When I go home, my family, everybody, you know, it's like, so I said, okay, so, um, what's up? I have a brother overseas mm-hmm. and he come look for me down at the college. And I give him one of the CD. The next time I come look for me down, my other brother from that the musician, and mm-hmm. the CD, them are bunks. So, when them reach now, them and said to me, listen, man, we have to do something with that talent. And yeah. I said, all right, this is how we are going to do So we, we kind of cheer away, because me and my brother, them close, 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 you know. I, I saw with, with the thing set. So we figure out what we're going to go on. So we said, all right, we are going to JCDC, because JCDC is really the birthplace for, for, for most of the established artists. Yeah, you know that's true, that's so, true. Big up JCDC. I have a big up JCDC. So we said, we see, but the problem that I was having, um, I used to sing, but then somebody introduced me to Papa San and some other man that I kind of like that type of music. Right, so you yeah, know, I kind of sing Jaka. He made it a shift from the singing going at the DJ. So most of the songs that I write, all of the songs that I did on the CD was dance and kind of DJ stuff. So yeah. the problem we have is we don't know if JCDC are going to want this and then sitting. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was probably the first hardcore DJ forever. Got oh, JC. Okay. Yeah. See that now? So, so JCDC was the start, really. They actually they accepted the song. And they, when them came and tell me, I'm not the top 10, you know, I was so surprised. It was one of the most, you know. I was so humbled and joyful at the same time, you know. I can't remember the moment, you know. Because, yeah. you know. We never sure this thing would our, but that was it. And from this, Jesse DC, that's it. I mean, um, the song testified that at the time was like the most popular song because them did have this thing on the radio name where people vote, mm-hmm. and it was the most popular song for the year, the dance song. So we we'll give God thanks for that. Right. And from that, um, I think I did blame it on yourself after that, you know, and. The rest with us there right now. I give God him glory. See you again. Bless God, man. Bless God, bro. So, tell me how many years or how long you have been doing, you know, this career as a gospel artist. And tell me some of the challenges where you face. All right. So it's a long time, you know. It's been <laughs> a while. Whether I say over, <laughs> over, over 15 years, over 10 years. Um... Yeah, about, about 15. About 15. About, uh, yeah, yeah, about, about them time. I was yeah. five years, but what happened? Um, I wasn't really, like, doing music totally. I was just, mm-hmm. you know, my nose said, I have a talent, but I work out in my head. And I said, right. I do school, I do work, do nine to five, same way and stuff. So I was not really doing music, like, full time. Full time. But mm-hmm. I was always around, mm-hmm. you know. Um, every now and then, but, but the thing is, um, I'm always minister. So even when I drop a song, and so people still call me. So I, I'm always there. You know, events I keep you August Ryan games, but I may not even have a song for that year, or two mm-hmm. year, or three year, or something. But there is always a present, and we give God thanks for that as well. So yeah, mm-hmm. and then. So the question, it looked like me, I forgot the question we asked, you know, the challenges. Yeah. All right. So the challenges um, I face, you know, the challenges were, were probably everybody else faced. I mean, for me, it is like just to get things out there because I have a, a crazy head sometimes with a lot of crazy stuff in my head. And the challenge when I have is just get it out there, just to flesh it out and put it out there. But I see where over the years, God worked. And send the right people at the right time, and it yeah, always works. So I don't even worry about that. 
You know Definitely. what I mean? Me not do a lot of worrying, me just pray. Pray, yeah. And 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 God start to talk to me. Definitely, bro. So tell me, in terms of a song now, if you are if you have a create a song, what is your thought process like? You know, is it a case where you have to you understand you probably have to um, fast and pray about a song or it does the inner your spirit it easy for you to put on paper or it might take a you know probably a day or two for kind of meds it oh oh your thought process in you know in writing songs and stuff all right um it's it different sometimes it's different because if if i'm not writing a song for a beat like but also i write a song out of the year um, I find some them song that I look deeper because sometimes it's just what speak to my spirit. Sometimes I would just would just bring it out. Yeah. Um, the process though for me is is worshiping. You know what I'm saying most of my songs come to worship. You know, I just tell because as me say, I don't need well, I never tell you before, but I don't really need a crowd to worship. You understand? Me alone. Me alone make a bag and eyes and just yeah. big up God because I think well I don't think I know God deserves a holy power worship. So I give him a holy power worship all the time. Definitely. So sometimes out of that worship, um birth the, the, the music. You know, and um as you say, writing but I don't read you know I don't know, probably at first may I say this, but I probably over about about over two thousand stuff. Huh? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> me think, I'm, I'm me hear say you. something, me hear say something, you know, but me I try to process mm. it. <laughs> Where's right, a while ago? So, um, all right, so, all right. When, when I start, started music, as me I tell you, way back um, from church, um, from them time that me I write, I'm a write song like every day. So, write to, when, when, when I do the, the the little album thing in college, we could have done about four of that one Whoa. time. So, Whoa. that yeah, that's all. So, the songs, them, and, and let me tell you something else. All of my songs, them coming like I'm a picnic there. My songs, them coming like. <laughs> D.O.T.O. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. not one of them more good on the tree. Man, not understand. even one. You understand? Because I try to, to, to write music where I go be God in glory. So, I don't want none of them. Last, if if because I don't write song on, on pen, because when I just start on a record, I like a record I think, and that move with the phone and stuff, that's how the songs come along. And if 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 I have a melody or I have something on my face, it's sweet, I may have it on my head and my phone on the day and I lose it, we are bad because <laughs> <laughs> yes, you take it that serious. <laughs> Because I don't want to lose none of what God gave me. It's like, I'm not that sure pick me, man. I understand. I yeah. understand that, man. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. So that's that's why I say even before, say, probably the only challenge I'm out of it really put forth all of that because having so much songs and then people just know a few songs. You understand what I mean? say? Them, you don't know the, the, the catalog. You understand? I just probably my family them know. Cause I, I, I have a little thing when I record them. Man. So my family them we all sing so Ryan Davis. So nobody else no know. And my close <laughs> friend them people them were on. Yeah. Yeah. Kill Ryan Davis. Yeah. But we all have a little party at home and I pay Ryan Davis a play. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> And nobody else know them from this. So, so like, like that still. They're my biggest fan. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that. I'm a most, I'm a, and I'm most um, shout out my family. Definitely. The Davis family. Every member of the Davis family, them support me to the T. You understand? All when I'm young and I have this like, set up at home, my, 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 my father gave me a little cassette thing and I have two big box and we make a whole heap of nice. And my mother never tell me to turn up nice. You understand? <laughs> I when they can't sleep, I mean, I feel I use my conscience and I tweak certain things. So I have yeah. to build up, build up my family who has been my real rock. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely, yeah, definitely. In in other same instance here, anybody else you want to big up? Yeah, man, I want to big up everybody who 
support Ryan Davis over the years. Or even if you don't support me, if you pray for me, whatever, we just big up, you know, big up my church. See, um, as, as I say, you know, me and my brother have been doing this for years, so I have to big up my brother Clement Davis. Clement, yeah, man. Along with the entire family. Big up DJ Shane to the family. Like, big up Dexter too. Dexter would you. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody Dexter, big up. School. Yeah, man. I may have to big up. If I don't know the Blair station, this, but big up Nadine Blair. And if she has listen, big up everybody who have anything at all to do with Ryan Davis. Definitely. No respect. Yeah, man. Definitely, bro. I love that. I love that. So, Ryan, you have a fear out of that 2000 song there. You have a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> it's a to go out to find one, but you probably have a favorite uh, still. Uh, all right, so I do have a favorite um a song that I play all the time, and and I one of the one that when I release, it's a song that's a fight for me. And outside of that, I have a um blame it on yourself. Um, I think that song for me is 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 because I'm an evangelist. I think so, at heart, you know, more, more love for people come to God. It's like, we you know, so I bring the good news of the gospel. That's all I'm there. That's my purpose mm-hmm. in life. You understand me? I say, so this, that song capture Brian Davis in a nutshell. So even though I don't even perform it much, but every time I do that song, it, it, it's just something deep. I want the deepest song. And yeah, I think one of my favorite. The song was to blame it on yourself if the Lord come on your soul, not right? Yeah. Are you good on so? Or you're a fault? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing, one thing, I admire about your song, them still. I mean, them just so straightforward. You know what I mean? The people, them can literally hear where I say and understand exactly where I say. Them, them now, if you try, if you go around this one, come back around so understand where I try to say. You understand? It, it right in front of you and it real. You get me, I say? So, Big up yourself, Ryan. Ryan, the next question I have right here so says, any upcoming projects? Many the people know what they can expect. Yeah, man. Um, you know, say, the, the, the future bright. My probably have to go put on glass. <laughs> as, <laughs> as I said, the lad, the lad, um, God has been faithful, you know, and it served, it, 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 it pays to serve God. And and True. sometimes the the, the the stuff where you worry about you just see it a handful, you know. As I said, DJ she ended up on the life. Me and him have all the other things that do, you know, um, and man want some good products. See him way. Um um so coming forward right now is is a song um, powerful. That's what we're really pushing right now. Um this song not released yet and I've been getting a lot of testimonies. Um mm-hmm. you know, people are telling me all kind of stuff. So I just I just think that God is about to do something with this song. You know. Yes, so man. that that um we're looking forward to release that on my birthday, which is the ninth, which is Thursday coming. Oh. So it's a September. Um, September you yeah, man. So big up all <laughs> September people <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so um look out for that, you know, it, it's, it's the will of the Lord and it shall be done. Um also as as um Friday again. Friday again, mm-hmm. The Friday again after Thursday, DJ Shane I dropped the rhythm. The trouble. different the different rhythm and I trouble that again. Fisherman, where my thing, you know. We are all called to fish. You understand? So Hey Ryan. It, it's it a be it and then it's just it's just some a lot of stuff. We have some video line up. Cause a lot of people say they're not see. They're not see you. They're not hear you. They're not see you. They're not hear me, but they're not see me. The thing yeah. is, I don't really, um, I don't really like social media at all. None at all. So yeah. if you notice, you don't. Suppose me tell you, I've never posted a picture on Facebook. <laughs> you know, I'm on Facebook Bravo long. Yeah. It's just. The type of person the I per- am. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. Doing yeah, music, yeah, the yeah, people yeah. that want to see me, so we are trying. But we're when, I, when I be comfortable, out of my own skin, on, I may have come out of my skin and I do it for the people, for the people of God, because we are servant. And I serve my serve, we are ministers, so we have to minister to the people. Then, so, yeah, I'm going to see me come out, we're going to do some visuals, we're going to do some pictures, we're going to just put it out there so people can see Ryan Davis and have a house. 
And all the people that look for me and then find out when them find me, they say, Oh, you're so hard to find. They <laughs> say, Brother, he's the hardest <laughs> man to find. You know, but. Yeah. And so it goes. But I'll make it easier for you still. Yeah, make it easier. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but just earlier, I talked to DJ Shane and you don't know. Um, people, look out for that, that rhythm here. Different, different rhythm. Release Friday yeah, along with Ryan Davis song. So Ryan, may I give them those a peace sight? Those a peace yeah, sight fisherman. May yeah, them hear what Because we are all fishermen for Christ, don't it? Definitely. All fishermen. So peeps, listen to this song and here we are going. Something new from Ryan Davis. Oh, Lord, now, now. You got to get your glove. DJ Shane, big up yourself, bro. Boom. DJ KC. The Lord is coming back and I'm sure. I don't want to worry no more. Even if we carry one soul. Me now go to the MC young big God. Send me for a mission and me can't forget me. I'm a ton of that soul when me want to catch. Me drop with the mic and the shop in it. They got called me. DJ Shane already made a different bro. DJ Shane, where get that, that bass from? So peeps, there you have it from Ryan Davis. We're not getting no more look out feet. It's going to be all over upon the platform. Them YouTube, check it out. The different rhythm. I don't know. We'll get it from DJ Shane. The whole artist, them, we are going to rinse it the whole of next week. So look out for that Friday releasing. And guess what? Ryan, I know you have a next song to you. Know. I want to give them a piece of that one to you. Because know. I know that one is normal. You know. And you did it on the show. You know what I mean? But I know you soon put it out the same way. So I just give the people a little teaser. This one is, what, what you call it? Nobody like you? Powerful at the same song where I drop for my birthday, man. All right. So you are going, one, peeps. You got power, somebody put you on up on the Come on, somebody. This one is powerful. Look out for it. If you want God working on your life, come on. Two for one, you know. Stand behind. Two song and release from Ryan on Friday. Check it out. Beg you use me as an example. I make me an enemy see all you can do. Good God, good God, good power. Somebody put you on up on the air. Woo, 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 woo. All the people in my life, the Afro beat. Oh, God. Come on, stand up on your foot. If you want that work in a year, like, come on. Come on. Stand behind me. Check it out, guys, on YouTube. Uh, Powerful Friday. Use me as an example. This one for everybody from the baby to grandma. Yeah, peeps. Ryan Davis. Hey, trust me, trust me. Why if you hear that song? Why if you hear that song from the time when you, you, you do it on the show? You know, I mean, I tell you. Should be looking out for it, man. And finally, it's here. Big up, big up your wife every time. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I mean, a lot of people been asking, you know. Um, uh, um. So we just have to be. Yeah, man. Definitely, bro. So in terms of the whole COVID thing, though, 
as it affected I mean we know we know say no real only for show not really go on um face to face show or, you know but um has COVID affected um your ministry since ah, the whole lockdown and all of them stuff there? Yeah, you know, COVID COVID affect um um is like it is it's like a balance thing when we look on it because um you know if you're not move yeah, then you're not gonna get no capital and all them things. Um, but in terms of ministering, I see where it opened up some other doors. And um, I, I remember I'm gonna do this, this teleton thing for the government and um, the amount of phone call and stuff and, and, and things that really come through that. Mm-hmm. It's like, and without COVID, um, a lot of people, because some people in Africa will never hear about riot. Yet. Yeah. I make a big fuss, you know. It's like, you know, they would have wants riot in Africa. So it's like, it, it have its ups and downs. And downs, yeah. You know, but, but it's like, oh, one, oh, one, I eat right now, because the, the, the thing will give me joy most I when I minister to the people. Definitely. So it's Definitely. like, a time, a time for you to leave, you know, so people can live in a peace again, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it affect me as well. I, I want to tell you in 2020, I had many shows where I forgot, where, where I forgot to cancel. I mean, Whoa. overseas, Whoa, uh, Whoa, kind Whoa. of stuff, you know. And so, yeah. it, so it really gave me a blow for 2020, you know, like. Yeah. But God will, you know. So when man a plan got a wife, what? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't yeah. even force myself. Because if God didn't want to stop that, I make sure they go and then yeah. I'm powerful enough to do that. So right. the fact is, that happened. We just have to work with it and give thanks to everything. See Definitely, definitely, bro. Definitely. Yeah, so, 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 Ryan. Um, in terms of your music now, right? Because we know you have songs out there. You have upcoming songs. Where can the listeners? Where can the viewers? Where can your fans find your music? What platforms are there where you know they can find your music, purchase your music, and stuff? And um, stuff, right? No. All right. So, um. I have, I, I think I have songs out there on all of the major platforms. But mm-hmm. once, once, once you type in Ryan with an I, you have a stuff pop up um, with Ryan Davis. We don't really have any physical copy of stuff right now. Right. Like, you know, like, but, but we're, we're getting there. Mm-hmm. So, it, and as I said before, I am going to be a, a lot more easier. To access. Okay. <laughs> Access. Right. So we are working on that easy access <laughs> it's been a while. You yeah. know, I remember one lady she she she, she wanted captain of the ship for years, like I mean years. She she wanted it to, to purchase and I'm just just uh, get a CD for her especially. Right. And she she was leaving going overseas and she said she never left it. I'm just deal with it and carry it yeah, personal. You know, yeah. so it, it, it always a like a challenge for your final right and years, but we'll fix that up. Definitely. Sure so. Definitely. So, so, Ryan, we almost reached to the end of the interview, right? Um, right. Tell me some of the, the, the gospel show them where you perform on big gospel shows. Well, me know a few of them. Um, and tell me mm-hmm. some of the artists them where you work with too um, along, oh. the, along the way. I don't know you're a big artist still, you know. <laughs> we know as that. I say, yeah, as I say, as I say, it's a while, but um, as as it 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 it, it goes to artists um or share stage with. I mean, maybe I'm not sure who I'm not, I'm not share stage with as pertinent to gospel gospel artists. Almost some people probably before my time or <laughs> you know. Because it just, you know, the, the, the yeah. whole setting, so, you know, the thing rotate and stuff, which which God has been um, faithful again, and I have to give him thanks and praise. You know what I mean? But but um, funny enough, one person who, who I share stage with when really impact me so much is a gentleman named Glenn Graham. You know, because yes, yes, as, as, yes, as I... I as a baby, me I listen to this man. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And yeah. it's it's like when I realized that listen, me and him there for an event and 
I was the one who, who closed the event. I may I say, God, you know, he's, you know, me and him sit down and run a, a whole of reasoning and him a share some little things with me and just for have a reasoning with a man like that where I grew up a year, my parents I listened to and, yeah. and all of that. It's just, it's just a joy, you know. As it goes to the events, you know, me not even really have a whole heap of things in mean. It's a whole heap of time DJ, man, going at the thing, so. Even recently, events, even recently, they, remember recently on um, TVJ, um, the yeah, praise yeah. program. <laughs> yeah, man, we see it. I have praise, yeah, I think, I think, I think we do the, the second edition of that thing too, yeah. So God has been faithful, really true, and, and we have to just give him praise. Because most, most of the event, I would have had a chance to be a part of it. And it's all because of God. You know, some artists ask me one time, who oh, am I manager? Because <laughs> 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 I tell them, they are God still. <laughs> because, so, yeah, really and truly, because, I mean, I, I just God, really, it's just God. Because we, we've been through the Caribbean, we've been to Europe, we do um, nice. Paris, we do nice. um, States. And it's just, I just God. You know what I mean? So we just had trust God and know if it's the way I'm going to do it for the rest of the journey. Ryan, you, know? you have some people in the comment section here ask some questions or something, right? One of them is All this. Right. One of them is this. <laughs> they want to know if you're related to Moses Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Moses. I want to know related to Moses Davis. I'm not sure. You're not sure. It's possible. Because you know say. Enough people, enough people hear you and they must say, yo, you know, say this sound like Moses Davis. You know, there's, there's the vibe, you know, and the voice. And I, thing. Remember, I remember this lady, um, she linked me from, from overseas to for, for do a special. She, she do sound thing and she said, she call out one of her brethren, them, them, the sound thing and they hear the man I play man over me. And she said, she have to call him on the phone and say, no, this is not right. You can't <laughs> play being man like that gospel thing I expect <laughs> <laughs> it's about her now, yeah. I want to tell you about this, uh, 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 Ryan. Well, I don't know. You understand? But it's not. this is not me really trying to be like nobody. I mean, I have a, I have a lot of respect for being a man. No joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think he's an awesome, um, talented person. So I don't know if, if because I m- 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 listen to him a lot. Yeah. Back in them days, I mean, right, right, right. That but I don't. I'm when we, when we take up the mic and say we have to do this, I never try for so Try for yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just what come out, and when we're on the stage again, them say me apparate like you know, and I guess I don't know if it's lodging on my body. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what me, man. Because when I go up on the stage, I just go up on it for the glory. Yeah, and definitely. Then I walk up and say, you know, me think for them being man concert, and I say. Right. <laughs> we have left that with God, you know? Yeah. Because we're yeah. not trying to do nobody, we just had to do Brian Davis and do God. But big up being a man still, cause as I said, is an yeah, artist where I look up to free. Yeah, and we are praying and trust God to, you know, God will save them, bring them in our kingdom. Definitely. Yes, you know man. I mean? Everyone. Every single one of them. You know. Because I mean? you can't have a gift, the Lord can't give a gift. It's like um your mother give you a nice little present. And you use it against her. You know, you mash yeah. up a chocolate and I use the chocolate cut her up. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She never feel good. You understand? So when the Lord bless you with a gift, that, that is another thing we have to thank him for too, because me could have, in the secular world, I use this gift without even knowing, say, at that, me I do. Right, you know, so right, the right. fact that him, him make me have that like a wisdom that for no say, boy. Use it for give me the glory. That in itself is a thing where I have to give God the glory for 100%. Definitely, bro. And just before we leave, Ryan, I just want you, you know, just give a word of encouragement to somebody, <clears throat> you know, maybe going through a hard time, difficult time, you know what I mean? Just just give them a word of encouragement at this time, you know, because you know it's rough, you know, for some people, you know what I mean? COVID time, lockdown, some people lose them work. Kids are go back to school all tomorrow and you understand them now have the money for buy a laptop or a computer, you know. So just give them a word of encouragement. Alright, so you know, um all I can say to everybody is trust God. God is God is able. I mean, 
A lot of people have some links, you know, they have some politician number in them pocket. They have some, you know, some done name, them cousin or some man, some and and then, and then feel like, yeah, you're you're powerful because you are connected. But the only real connection where you can connect to is God. You know, definitely and he is able to to supply all your needs without a joke. This is not just something we say at church because it's so good in our testimony line. But it is an actual fact. You know, the Lord is able to do all things. Amen. So no matter if, if, if it's money you need or if it's a problem in your relationship or if it is sickness, whatever it is, he is the only one who can help us. So I'm, I'm just saying the only encouragement I can give to all of you is just to stay connected. The Bible says, if you remain in me, I will remain in you. Amen. So that means say uh, once you remain in a God, they might go stay with you and all your needs will be supplied. But those who don't see Christ yet, they are joke, you are wrong. They are wrong. Time, yeah. time wind down. When you look around and you see the time, mm-hmm. you see this little COVID thing where we are going. I just as I test around this, you know, DJ Mark. All yeah. the things are happening. True. So true, true. if those of us who are in Christ, just please remain in Christ. Those of us who those are them. And us who now come in our crisis, those are them that sound very, very bad, but we can't fix that already. <laughs> <laughs> but all those out there who are not in Christ, see, time for your coming, time is winding down. So get him in your life, get connected to the source. So that is my encouragement, right? So. Blessed love. This this just came to mind as well to Ryan. What if somebody want to book you? <clears throat> Where them can reach out to you? Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, man. What they um the um I think what they all over the place. Um, <laughs> but, but Instagram. Once Instagram. <laughs> yeah, go see the numbers them. You know, so you can just do that. And some, I think, like on YouTube, there is the numbers them as well down okay. there. So if you are listening one of my track, you can just. Um, click on the thing and you see the numbers you can call the numbers and and that is fine okay wonderful ryan may I have may I have a, a gift coupon more and give away right um so right. so so listeners and viewers the i'm gonna ask um allow ryan to ask you a question right for you for you to have the chance of winning a gift coupon a thousand dollar discount and this specifically today we want to give those persons who are logged on overseas right those who are logged on overseas and you have family member here and you want to shop on allacquired.com and you want to buy some groceries i'm able to give you a thousand dollar discount if you should answer this question that ryan dave is, is going to ask you based on the interview just done so ryan more you ask him a question based on the conversation we have so far not make it yeah. too easy but not make it too hard not for them too hard yeah. All right. No so, problem. So, you ask them the question, and we are we are watching. Admin is 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 watching. And remember, per people who would have won last week, um, let us give other persons a chance um to win. And of of course, I said you have to be overseas. All right. For so for this week, we're only giving away the coupon to somebody who is from overseas, and you want the goods to be shipped to somebody or a family member or friend here in Jamaica, all right? So that is for those who are logged on from overseas. So Ryan, go ahead and you can ask him the question. All right, so the question that I'm, I'm going to ask is not too easy, not too hard, but which which of the songs are, is my favorite? If you did a listen, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> so peeps, that's the question. Which song is Ryan Davis's favorite song. And we were talking about it for about two minutes. So I know once you're listening, you should be able to answer that question. All right. So Ryan, we just want to tell you thanks again for, for, for joining. You know, we know you're a very humble person. And we know, you know, you never hesitate to take up the call. You know what I mean? As a young DJ, you know what I mean? Just a coming out of the business, you know, we appreciate the fact that you take the time out for you know what I mean? For jump on the program. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. I have a DJ too, as well. Yeah, so. True, true. To God be the glory. Yeah, yeah man. man. Also, also, before I come to me, I feel um, Big Up Radic too is a part of the production team. Oh, Most of the music, them 
Radic came man. Him work with we. So can't left out Radic. Big up Radic same way. Yeah man. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. So Ryan, I don't know if he's a football fan, but Jamaica play five o'clock peeps. Support the reggae yeah, boys. Man, support reggae Hello. boys. But at the yeah, same man, time. We get to, you know, we support all of them, man. Elian and, and Shelly and um all of them. <laughs> we have watched Talawa before we even come from the interview too. So all of them right on. Oh yeah, I said to me. You know, you know what coach is next and them man too? Eh? You know, coach is the Simon Preston and Chumiria said Talawa TV, so you know. Oh, they, they, they name the son, they name the son French. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what to go. Yeah, man, definitely. So, so peeps, Jamaica up here five o'clock. DJ Robert will come on five o'clock. So, have your phone. I take in DJ Robert and take in the match at the same time, you know what I mean? Because of that way I go do the same way. You know what I mean? So make we support each other the same way. Ryan, big up yourself again, yeah, man. bro. Blessed love DJ Mark. And go on to God the glory. To God for the glory. Yeah, man. Blessings, man. Blessings. Big up, big up, big up the family. Big up the family. Uh, all and the time. Yeah, man. Thing. Yeah, man. Respect again, bro. We link. You got power. Somebody put your hand up on the air. So peeps, there you have the question. Oh. Ryan gave his favorite song. Easy, easy, easy. Up on your foot. If you want that work in a year, like, come on. Come on. Stand baby, baby. Oh, 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 oh. I beg you use me as an example. Sister Ivan Edwards, what's going on? It's a big tune, don't it? A big tune, you know? No. You know Ryan gave his style. More powerful than you. There's nothing that you can't handle. One word and the enemy is crumbled. I beg you come and lose all that standard. Hey peeps, man, what's say? Cause nobody is more powerful than you. The interview here was awesome, man, I lie. And nobody can take your power from you. Last week we had Sherwin music. Somebody. Week before that we have AG Icon. Week before that we have Mini Stata from UK. We had Mini Stata Blessed. First interview we had DJ Nicholas. So we just look out for the interview. Them just look out for them. All right. Yeah, man. Check out Ryan Davis. Name is spelled with an I. Im Ryan. That's R I A N. Go on Instagram. You'll see him. YouTube. Check him out. Facebook. Hey peeps. I don't want it to seem like say me I run off for a show. Lord, Go watch match. The match start 5 o'clock and f- almost 4 o'clock now. But you know the show done 4 o'clock. And if you say yes, then who can come say no? Nobody can do. Nobody do but guys, I have oh. another show this evening. I'm going to stream it here on this page. You can check it out. I'll be partying with the Waltham Park New Testament Church at 7 o'clock. Hey, show you your powerful, daddy. Show your powerful. So I want to check it out. So let me see. So this is it now, guys. If you're in Jamaica and you want to give it to somebody overseas, you can do that. You can answer the question the same way. Ryan Davis favorite song. And the Simple and easy. Hey, hey, got me a few feel love for me with the love of you. Come on, now. Remember Friday. Tell him. Who can do what? Different rhythm of a release, you know. DJ Shane. And if you say yes, then who can come say no? Ryan Davis birthday, my release this song. Nobody do a powerful like ya. Powerful, you know. Everybody in the yard right now. Davis making up DJ Mark. <laughs> come on, what step that? on your foot. If you want that work in a year, like, come on. Come on. Stand baby, baby. Oh, 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 oh. I beg you, use me as an example. Oh, what do you say? Come testify. Let me see all you can do. As Another one, they're still in the you. There's nothing that you can't handle. All right, in the meantime, I ask another question, Zin. So you answer any one of them, you win. Is 
Mm-hmm. Which parish Ryan Davis come from? Easy and cheesy. Watch up. Which parish Ryan Davis is from? He said it. It's not Kingston. Nobody can deny you say yes, you can say no. Somebody says, show your powerful God. So the question goes again, guys. Which parish Ryan Davis come from? Just a man. We believe that that song is going to be the next big song. For the rest of the year, when Ryan Davis releases a song on Friday, trust me. Me and Rinsa sang every Sunday. So all people are going like them bad and them mad and this and that. When God stays ready for raise up him, honey, no. Powerful enough. One word and you come and it's time. One word and all the problems gone. Watch out. Hey, hey, got me a few feel up. Got me really love for you. Come. So we had Ryan Davis. Tell him. Who can do all the things for you? Oh, nobody can do. And if you say yes, then who can? Guys, remember to shop. Oh, nobody can do. Online. Nobody do like. www.allacquired.com Put your hand up, bloody hell. Guys, it was good being here today. Thanks for tuning in to DJ Mark in the Mix. Do meet us same time and place on Sundays at 2 to 4 p.m. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook pages. DJ Mark in the Mix. Do have a blessed week. I make me enemy see all you can do. I say nobody is more powerful than you. There's nothing that you can't handle. Jesus, one word and the enemy is crumbled. I beg you come and lose all that stand up. Cause nobody is more powerful than you. Watch out. Come on, Ryan. Somebody help me. So we can do all the things for you. Nobody, Nobody can do it. You say yes, you can do it. No. Guys, remember at 5 o'clock we have praise without limit with DJ Robert.
and me really love all you. Come help me now, me singers. Tell him. Who can do all the things for you? Oh, nobody can do. And if you say yes, then who can come say no? So peeps, until then, I'll see you next week, same time, all right? Lydia Mills, Geron Simpson, all gone. See you same week. Next week. Show your powerful. Hear me, I say, no DJ, man. Them finos, yeah, you run the universe. Somebody just let's have some prayers right now, no? It's a good prayer, we will start prayers, God. But it does make some nice money. Paris, gospel selector, you don't want to.